They call it the most important meal of the day, but breakfast can really take a big bite out of your wallet if you're not really careful. So it doesn't have to. Josh Ellis, Chief Savings Angel at SavingsAngel.com, here to help us with the breakfast budget, which is all easier said than done. Good morning. Good morning, Heidi. All right, so we have the basics here, and um, I don't see any Captain Crunch on the table. No, um, and uh, that is uh, cereal is a deal that we can talk about in just a second. Let's start with eggs and toast because okay. that's that's a, a great breakfast that uh, that that you may want, uh, and you can actually save a lot of money. This week, you can get a dozen eggs at Walgreens of all places. Who would have thought? Not but me. Yeah, you can actually get a dozen eggs for ninety nine cents, and um, that's a great deal on eggs. Now, bread usually, you know, you could just go with the buy one get one at Publix, and that's uh, that's a great way to go as well. Now, if you want to do eggs and toast for breakfast, that's going to cost you about 26 cents a serving. And we're going to talk about different foods and what they're going to cost you, and uh, you'll be amazed at how cheap you can get some breakfast foods for. Yeah, I never actually think about breaking down the cost, but that is really a great deal. Another one you say where you really get good bang for your buck is oatmeal in the morning. Oatmeal is probably, oatmeal and pancakes, I pulled these out on the yeah. counter because they are the absolute best deals if you are very cost conscious. Now, this week you can get uh, these pancakes packets of uh, oatmeal, a 10 pack for $3.89. They're buy one, get one at Publix. And that's going to make it about 19 cents a bowl. A much better deal is to get the 42 ounce canister. Wait till you can get a price about $2. That's going to give you oatmeal for seven cents a bowl. You're feeding your kids for seven cents a piece at that price. I have one of these under my desk and people make fun of me, but no, that make is fun no longer. Absolutely not. Th you're right, Heidi. This is the winning way to go for breakfast. You say also pancakes to another good option for cost savings. Yes, um, this by itself, I don't recommend buying this because even if you get a buy one, get one, there's still $1.35 for a box. Okay. It makes it 11 cents uh, for, uh, for a pancake, mm -hmm. and that's not a great deal. Whereas with this, you can actually, uh, you can actually make, uh, 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 it's over like 80 pancakes in this one box, and that means it's about four cents for three four-inch pancakes. Four cents to make three four-inch pancakes. And they're whole grain, and you can make them look like Mickey Mouse if you want to. We, exactly. What I recommend with that is rather than buy a product like this, go ahead and make a bunch on Sunday evening, throw them in the refrigerator, throw them in the freezer. It's a great low economical way to go. Easy way to go there. You say cereal sometimes not the best option because it ends up being a little pricier. Yeah, cereal is actually a very expensive breakfast. If you're considering you're buying your cereal for more than three fifty a box, you're buying gallons of milk, and gallons of milk are you know three dollars and. 50 cents or more. Um, you can get great deals on milk. You have to sometimes you have to work some systems a little bit and you can get great deals on milk. And cereal, never pay more than one dollar a box for cereal. You should be using coupons and you should be using great sales and you can always get great deals on cereal. Always a good idea. And last but not least, you say OJ. What's the price on that? We also want to let people know we've got the little savings per person there and that is if you're eating at home, eating this uh, day in and day out, that's how much you're going to save every single year. But let's talk about OJ. Yeah, or Orange juice, there's not for basically there's two camps. You've got your not from concentrate camp and you've got your concentrate camp. That doesn't sound right saying concentrate camp. No. Um, but if you get uh, concentrated orange juice, you can actually, your orange juice will be about eight cents a glass. If you need the kind in the carton, that's going to cost you about 18 cents a glass. So take that into consideration when you're deciding what you're going to pay for when you provide breakfast for your family. It's too much work for me to add the water in. I need it in the jug and it needs to be from Florida. I'm sorry. I understand. I'll me a tree and start squeezing it next week. <laughs> I'll get on that. All right, some great savings, uh, savingsangel.com for people to check out more information. You're sticking around with us and giving us great deals at the stores this week yes, coming up at 9 o'clock. good ones. All right, stick around. He's going to tell you how to save all kinds of money on every meal of the day again at 945. Right now, though, I'm thinking we should talk a little weather.